Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose, July 1, 2012, 2.06 a.m., Birmingham, Alabama. And this is part two of America's socialist agenda. I gave you moments ago just a very, very small part of executive orders. I'm going to give in the write-up of this blog the website where you can find the complete list of these orders. And I'm going to, I'm going to give you an oversight of, of capitalism versus socialism. And uh, But first, I want to go ahead and... Because and, I want to get you a good understanding of... of what life you're about to enter into. Um, Cuba. They have not changed since 53, including the cars. Uh, I'm sorry, for 53 years. Poland, 44 years. China, 63 years. All these countries have been or are communist which is socialist north korea 66 years east germany up until 89 51 years russia 74 years and russia is about to go back into communism because there's not enough of the right people that's rich meaning putin and people like him so they want to go ahead and turn it back so they can be empowered once again and be the rich people of the country um, and the Soviet bloc countries such as Armenia 50 years, Romania 50 years and um, I want to tell you a quick story very 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 quick Two girls in college. One girl busted her butt. She worked hard. She didn't go out on the weekends and party. She studied. Her friend said, come on, let's go have a party. She said, no, I, I got work to do. She said, oh, it'll hold. And she says, no, no, I got a good or a test come up, I want to pass it. So, at the end of the year, the little girl goes home. And her dad said, well, how'd college go? He, she said, well, it's fine. And then she said, Dad, we had a, 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 a thing about socialism versus capitalism. Can you tell me about that? He said, sure. What kind of grades did you have? She said, well, you know me. She said, I got all A's. I was on the dean's list. He said, very good. He said, how did your roommate do? Well, she barely greased by with C's. He said, uh, why don't you give her some of your A's so that she can have some B's and your A's will come down to B's. And she said, no. She said, I worked hard for the A's. She said, my roommate partied all the time. I didn't. I was there when I would prefer to be somewhere else, but I studied, and I don't want to give it up. She said, he said, then you are capitalist. That's what communism is or socialism. You give part of what you earned to somebody else that didn't earn it. Now, you have large companies throughout America and the world. Like Sam Walton at Walmart. He started a one-man show. Look where he is. Under socialism, you cannot do that. You can forget it. In fact, under socialism, if you are a pharmacist that you say right here in America, it took you five years to become that pharmacist, or maybe six. But under socialism, 
your salary is dictated by the government. So you will be making roughly the same thing that the man does that collects garbage that only went through the sixth grade. Another example. A doctor in Cuba, his biggest thing salary-wise is he gets a larger apartment without paying the extra fee. His apartment is a giant whopping 540 square feet opposed to the 400 square feet he had before. And what does he get paid? Whatever they slip him, the people that he assists or helps, along with the government. The government gives him $80 a month, period, and the larger apartment with no extra fee. Farmer, down the street, he raises an array of things. He was being um, he was being interviewed, okay, and you can find all this. And um, he raised chickens, but yet, even though he raised uh, two or three hundred chickens, he got one. Unfortunately, for that whole year, he got only one. You raise them for the government. If you are found hiding them, you will be thrown into jail for up to five years for stealing food from the people that doesn't work and that doesn't earn it. So they will come and take all of what you have. They interviewed another man that ran a magazine shop. And they were just casually talking. And the guy said, oh, by the way, I heard something about this chicken farm up the street. How, how much do you get in the line of food, you know, say chickens? He said, if we're real lucky, we'll get two a year. Two chickens a year. But this year, we didn't get any. Last year, we got one. And I'm not really sure how next year looks. That's it. A whole family, one chicken a year. If they get lucky, two a year. This man that runs this magazine shop makes $20 less than the doctor, and he also has to live in an apartment that's 400 square feet. He moved in with his parents. They all ended up with a combined 600 square feet apartment, but three families lived there. Now, in order to get married, he has to get permission from the government. They have to give him permission to move, and they have to wait until a place becomes available. You will see, and if you go look, Google Earth. Do this, Google Earth, and go into Romania, go into Cuba, go into Russia, go into China, and look at the hundreds of thousands of apartments. Look at the thousands of giant apartment buildings that have 40 wires running in and out of every window. This is where they live under communism. It never gets better than that. You go to a line for food. One line is for bread. The next line is for beans. The next line is for corn. It, is, it takes one to three days shopping just to get your weekly allotment of food. In a lot of cases, you have to work the day to get a day's wage, I mean a day's wage to get a day's worth of food. I've got a lot more to say on this, so I will be going to a part three, Jody Wolf, Expose.